Hi, and welcome to another Nerd Show and Tell here at Terribly Fun Films. I'm your host, Bobby, and this is, once again, a new DVD Blu-ray update, which, bear in mind, will be like 75-90% of uh, all the Nerd Show and Tells. I do have plans for some non-DVD movie, but maybe still movie related, depending on what specific thing we're talking about, uh, Nerd Show and Tells coming up. I just have not had the time to do this. So, with that out of the way, let's see what I got. The first title I picked up for only $5 at Best Buy, and that is the Blu-ray of David Cornenberg's The Fly. I do not know how or why I didn't already own that. Then, also for $5 at Best Buy, the Blu-ray of Dragon, the Bruce Lee story, which I really enjoy. And the next title is one of my absolute all-time favorite, so bad they're good movies. It is also $5 on Blu-ray at Best Buy, and that is Cole the Conqueror with Kevin Sorbo. That movie is ridiculously cheesy and fantastic. Up next is the limited edition Blu-ray of The Alien Factor, a movie I will be reviewing soon. This next title I've been wanting for a really long time since I originally saw it. It's just that its price point was always crazy high. Recently though, it went down to under $20. So I finally picked up Rare Exports, A Christmas Tale. For those of you who haven't seen it, it is a Scandinavian horror film about a giant psychotic Santa Claus. It's awesome. Over the July 4th holiday weekend, Full Moon Direct ran a deal where most of their DVDs were $7, most of the Blu-rays were $11, shipping was free, and with any purchase, you got a free DVD copy of Kings of Cult which is sort of like an extended interview documentary type thing wherein Charles Band and Roger Corman sit down and discuss their respective careers in the B-movie industry. The movie I purchased for that is Trancers 6. I've not actually seen Trancers 6, but I've seen all the other Trancers films. Trancers 6 was very hard to find hard to find online outside of ordering it from full moon it's hard to find used I don't know why it was so difficult but it was so that we have the Patrick Muldoon starring actioner what which I hope says fun as its ridiculous title and exclamation point in the title make it seem then we have the Serena Vincent action film Monica now we come to the newly released found footage film Clash of the Dead which I have already seen and thought was pretty good. Not incredible, but fairly enjoyable. Next, we have a brand new film on Blu-ray starring the sadly departed Anton Yelchin, Green Room. Haven't watched this yet, but I'm really excited. I love Yelchin as an actor. I can't wait to check it out. We have another new release on Blu-ray, the a ton of action star starring Vigilante Diaries, and it also has Jason Mewes for some reason. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. Next is the held up surprisingly well comedy of Down Periscope. This was also only $5 on Blu-ray at Best Buy. And that is Jason Bateman's Bad Words. If you have not seen this, it's hilarious. I highly recommend it. It's amazing. That brings me directly to Jason Bateman's latest film. The Family Thing, based on the book of the same name. The book's amazing. The movie's fairly good. Some weird structural issues in the first 20 or so minutes. But after that, once it finds its footing, fantastic. We also have the new release of Sinister Squad. Which, yes, I've already reviewed. I reviewed it when I got it in the mail. Uh, I pre-ordered it. Uh, and I just haven't had the time to do a nerd show in town. That's why it's in this stack as opposed to an earlier version. I also pre-ordered and I've already reviewed the other Asylum release, Perry Tejo's Ghost Hunters, starring Stephen Manley, and that film's amazing. 
This brings us to our final DVD for the time. After somewhat inadvertently watching a bunch of feature-length Periteo films, I decided to buy his collection of short films. Misanthropy, the short films of Periteo. I haven't seen any of them. I do hope that they are as visually interesting and has such cool set designs as the rest of his films that I've seen. Anyway, that's all for this episode of Nerd Show and Tell. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.